City of Warner Robins considering reducing some of its recreational fees. That was part of Mayor LaRonda Patrick's budget message to City Council Monday night. Molly Jett is live in Houston County to explain. I'm currently here at the Warner Robins Park and Recreation Center off Houston Road. And while you may remember a discussion about the cost of using the center behind me while well ahead of the 2023 budget, this conversation is back on the table. About three times a week for about $9, Lewis Hayward joins his friend to play basketball here at the Warner Robins Parks and Recreation Center. I had a lot of people in my family with high blood pressure, diabetes, and all of that. And from a child coming up, I said when I got older, I wasn't going to go through that. So access to these courts is important to him, but he says not everyone can afford to use it as often as him. The people with low income, single parents, uh, it, it should be re uh, reduced because, like I said before, you're going to get the money. The more people you have in here, the more money you're going to make. At Monday night's council meeting, Mayor LaRonda Patrick presented the city's 2023 budget proposal. One of her proposals includes reducing some park and rec fees. According to city clerk Mandy Stella, this could impact entry and usage fees at the Warner Robins Parks and Recreation Center, Dolores Tolliver Park, and Fountain Pool. Assistant Finance Director Holly Gross says it's something the public asked for during previous town hall meetings. These are the topics that came up, so that was definitely something that they're going to look at to see, you know, if we can afford to reduce some of those those fees. But they would look at they would look at the whole recreation program as a whole. The city's recreation director said he saw the proposal for the very first time Monday night, so he is not sure what fees would be cut or what percentage. Either way it go, if they lower it for everybody or if they lower it for just just the uh, low budget, it's going to be a win win anyway. Now, I also spoke to some other people here earlier today. They say they don't want the fees to go any lower because they believe this center would be overused. And some others also said they believe the money helps them maintain the building. Live in Warner Robins, Molly Jett, 13 W MAZ News. All right, Holly Gross says the City Finance Committee will talk about the details in the coming week. The final decision will lie with mayor and council.